Dan Fleck here with your news briefing. Australia's reached a major COVID vaccine milestone with three quarters of the eligible population now double vaxxed. PM Scott Morrison says there's a few states and territories which are leading the way. That is an extraordinary achievement by Australians all around the country. Uh, led particularly in New South Wales and Victoria and the ACT where those rates now, particularly on first doses, as I said yesterday, is higher for Australia than now even the United Kingdom. Meantime, Atagi's officially approved the launch of COVID booster vaccines from November 8. The PM jets out tonight ahead of attending the G20 summit in Rome before tabling Australia's newly formed net zero emissions strategy at a climate summit in Glasgow. Taking a look at COVID cases across the country, there's been 1,923 and 25 deaths in Victoria overnight. New South Wales has reported 293 new infections and two deaths. The ACT has confirmed eight new lives local cases, while Queensland's reported a zero-case day. And Daryl Maguire's revealed intimate details of his secret relationship with former New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian while giving evidence at an anti-corruption inquiry. The ICAC's investigating whether the former Premier breached public trust in relation to funding bids in the Wagga MP's electorates. Mr Maguire's told the inquiry he and Miss Berejiklian loved each other and discussed plans for marriage and children during their relationship from 2015 to 2015. Get personalised hair loss treatment in five minutes delivered to your door. Clinically proven treatment for men and women. One pill taken daily. Theharrypill.com.au The world's still waiting to hear from Quinton de Kock after he stood himself down from participating in South Africa's T20 World Cup clash against the Windies Tuesday. The South African cricket board's holding crisis talks with the former captain after he refused to take a knee in support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Aussie cricket legend Mark Taylor's weighed in saying the issue lies with the team mandated protest. I don't know where his actual personal stance is, but I suspect that this message he's sending mm. is much about the board of, of Cricket South Africa than it is the Black Lives Matter move. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. A high chance of showers on the limestone coast this evening as we drop to 12 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, showers easing 15 degrees. Saturday, possible showers 16. For radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app.